Victoria heads to the beach to help single mom Jennifer and her bully of a bulldog. Jennifer's at her wit's end. I walk you. You don't walk me. Now that I see dogs are coming, I'm going to give her a heads up. And it's funny, because I'm just going to keep pushing the button. And she won't even look at these dogs when we walk by. She won't even look at them. Come on. A spray collar is a collar that will spray citronella in a dog's face. Having citrus going right up your nose is a very, very aversive and unpleasant feeling. Basically, if the dog does something you don't like, something unpleasant happens to it. Come on. Nothing. Why do you think she doesn't react? My opinion is it's just a temporary distraction. No, 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 no. See more dogs, no. How many times have you just sprayed her then? Two or three. The amount of time she sprayed Roxy was unbelievable. And the fact is she sprayed Roxy when Roxy wasn't even doing anything. Warning, yeah. warning, warning, other dog, let's be nervous, warning. Okay. And then even when Roxy no. pulled a little no. bit to look at the other dog, she got a spray no. in the face. Oof. Is the spray not working? No, the spray's working. It's spraying? It's spraying. She just got nuked there after about, I don't know, 10, 15 sprays during the walk. What she was doing was actually desensitizing Roxy to the spray collar. And very soon, that's not going to work at all either. I walk you. You don't walk me, OK? If Jennifer can get Roxy's focus, get her working instead of aggressing, that's going to help Roxy get over her bad behavior. Roxy, watch me. Good girl. Lovely. I'm going to give this to you now, the leash to you. Watch me. Good. Girl. Very good. I love it. Roxy picked up on it extremely quickly. Roxy. Good girl. Now I want to set up what you do when you see a dog in the distance. You immediately tense up and you pull. And that is transmitting all of your emotional feelings all the way down the leash to her. Roxy really stares at other dogs when they go past and she doesn't want to take her eyes off them. <laughs> She's being a little intimidating, but also she doesn't want to take her eyes off them in case they come at her. Now, the watch me command is going to be used to break that stare. And that's why you have to get the watch me command so well before you can use it when she's seeing another dog. Because remember, she's got to have enough distraction to go, OK, OK, I'll look at you. Good girl. Now it's time to really put Roxy's focus to the test. Victoria brings in another dog. Roxy, sit. Watch me. Oh, she's so good. By holding a treat in front of Roxy's mouth as the other dog goes past, the brain is concentrating more on smelling and tasting rather than on the emotion of wanting to aggress. Oh, and the dog goes past. When she's had a calm reaction, she gets the treat. Very good girl. Now it's over to you. Come on, Rox. So she Come sees on. the other dog. Good. Come on. When she checks in with you, good girl, now put her into a sit. Roxy. Sit. Good. Jennifer has Roxy's focus, but can she hold it when the other dog remains nearby? Yes. Roxy, Roxy, Roxy. No, no. Roxy, no, 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 no. Roxy. What you're doing is like, you're this. Roxy, 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 can you hear it in your voice? Mm -hmm. I have as many issues as Roxy does, and this is a complete breakthrough for the, for the dog and for me. This training is completely different from anything that Jennifer has been used to. She's been used to telling Roxy off all the time. She hasn't really been used to giving her feedback and giving her positive, positive rewards, positive reinforcement. That's what it's all about. At this point, I want you to get Roxy's attention away from this dog right back onto you again. Roxy, <gasps> good girl. Beautiful. Yes. Do you see that? Mm -hmm. It's gone. Yes. When you're working on trying to change a, a, a real emotional behavior, a real psychological problem, yes, yeah, she's a good girl. It doesn't happen overnight. There's no fairy tales here. This is a long process. Since Jennifer has continued to struggle while walking Roxy, Victoria has introduced a simple tool to put her back okay. in command. I want to make walks easier for you because I know Roxy really pulls you to help you because she is so strong. I've got um, a harness that's specially designed to help a dog stop pulling. Jennifer's very tense with the leash. 
And I'm hoping that the harness is going to give her more confidence because that, in the end, is what this is all about. Giving confidence both to Roxy and to Jennifer. When the dog pulls, it just feels like its front legs are coming up a little bit. Are we ready to go out, huh? Do you want to go for a walk? Yes. With Roxy's new harness in her hand, it's time to put it to the test. I brought you to a place where there are lots of dogs that are walked. When every dog comes past, I want you to get her focus and work it. Okay. Relax, breathe, show her those treats, be exciting and stimulating. Okay. First of all, I started with a walker who had a very unreactive dog, which is important because we want to set Roxy up for success. As soon as she sees the other dog, you then put her into the sit. Okay. Sit. Roxy, sit. Put the treat in front of her nose so she can Good sit. Good girl. Watch me. Watch me. Oh, yes. Next, Victoria so ups the ante face. by bringing in not one, but two dogs. Sit. Get her attention onto you. That's right. Watch Get me. That's Watch me. It. Watch me. Get two. That's okay. 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 Don't this worry. time, okay. Victoria has to step in. I'm holding her, I've got the treats in one hand, I've got the leash in another. I see dogs coming and I need to get in front of Roxy. Okay. It's a huge challenge. She was sort of away from you. She was further away. I want you to get into her space. I want you to make her sit like that. And even if you want to put your body in front of her and get her focus. It was all a little muddied. Now that Jennifer has a better understanding, she's ready for one more go. Roxy. There you go. Sit, sit, sit. Watch me. Good girl. Lovely. With her focus on Jennifer, Roxy hardly notices the other dog. Good girl. This is not easy. It is hard work. It is hard, yeah. The reason why we're doing this is to cut down her experiences of aggressing. The more we do that, the less she's going to do it. Now, Victoria feels Roxy is ready for the toughest challenge yet. I wanted to do a greeting with Roxy with another dog. And I used Buster, who's a very non-reactive dog, because I wanted to set Roxy up for success. I wanted her to start with a very calm dog, because she's got to have good experiences around other dogs. Who's that? Oh, good girl. But before Roxy can greet another dog, she has to play nice. Oh, yeah, look at that. Good girl. Lovely. We'll just walk a bit closer. Very good. Very good. Good girl. How's this, Jennifer? I'm freaking out, but it's OK. Good, good. It's OK. Roxy was fine being next to Buster. She was fine. I wasn't. Good girl. Good girl. I'm still hesitant. I don't know what it is. I feel like Roxy can snap at any moment but I just want to have control of my dog. And I think I'm on the way to having control of Roxy. Now, let's turn around, Kathy, and I'm going to follow you, OK? I didn't want Roxy to connect with Buster head to head. I wanted her to be able to follow him and then eventually sniff his behind, which is how dogs greet each other. It's how they get information. She wants to sniff the butt. It's much easier for a dog that is uncomfortable around other dogs to be able to get information about the other dog first without having to go to the mouth because it's that face-to-face -face confrontation that can be really difficult for her. Because Buster is a non-reactive dog, because he's very chilled out, she would get that information from him, see that he wasn't a threat and be more relaxed in his presence. You see she's released on the leash a little bit, mm -hmm. she's relaxed, you click and treat her. Roxy. I loved Roxy walking next to the other dog because when she's happy, I'm happy. Roxy. Good girl. Yes, 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 yes. yes. <laughs> it excites me so much when you can do that. Do you know? Just something that seems so little. It yes. means so much. This is huge. Good girl. The more she has this positive experience around other dogs, the better. Yes. You have a new friend. It's nice to have friends. Let's check in with Jennifer and Alana and see if they've been keeping up with the training. Jennifer and Alana head out for a walk. 
but they've forgotten Roxy's harness. I see some dogs. I don't know if Roxy sees them yet. Do you see them, Alana? OK. I don't think Roxy's seen them yet. OK, there she does. Roxy, Roxy. <laughs> Hi. Hi, Roxy, Roxy, Roxy. Sit. Sit. OK. This isn't working. Let's try it again. Roxy. Sit. Sit. <gasps> Look. Watch me. <gasps> Watch me. <gasps> Over here. Watch me. Watch me. Over here. <gasps> no. Jennifer, you have got to be quicker getting Roxy's focus. All right. Coast is clear. Let's go. After one failed attempt, Jennifer invents her own strategy. All right, I see the dogs, and I think Roxy does too. Alana, get in front of her. <gasps> Roxy, watch me. Roxy, watch me. Good girl. Jennifer, you're the one holding the leash, and you have to be the one to get Roxy's focus, not Alana. All right. <laughs> Roxy. <sighs> Sit. Roxy. OK, that didn't work either. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Come here, come here, come here. I better get back to Jennifer and Alana because it looks like they need more help. Tell me why you haven't been using the harness. I think the harness is hard for me because I'm still learning how to work everything into one kind of move. Because I have the treats, I have the clicker, I'm worried about Alana, I know the dog's gonna go nuts, so I've got too much going on. I'd like to see a walk. We're going to put a harness on because I want to see how you use it. OK. And Alana, we're going to do some clicker training with you too so that you can help your mom. All right. In order to make things easier for Jennifer, Victoria wants to give some of the responsibilities to Alana. When you see Roxy doing something good, even if it's just walking by your mom's side without pulling her, click her. And then your mom will give the treat. I want Roxy to be focused, but I also want her to get into the whole idea of greeting other dogs appropriately. So I just want you to maybe do some getting closer training, walking past, get her, get the focus. And if it messes up, don't worry. OK. Roxy really Roxy. pulls when she's walking, and Jennifer feels just so tense with the leash. And I'm hoping that walking wow. with other dogs is going to give her more confidence, because that, in the end, is what this is all about giving confidence both to Roxy and to Jennifer. Soon enough, another dog approaches. It's all right. Yep, that's OK. Good girl. Let her sniff the butt, maybe. Love it, love it, love it. Good Very good. Good girl. Her tail's okay. wagging. Her tail is Let's wagging. Let's walk. Sniff the bum. Jennifer is still a little nervous, but Roxy okay. remains calm. Good. We like it. So maybe Roxy's going to be known forever as the butt sniffer. Great. <laughs> Jen, how is this for you, seeing her do this? It's a start in the right direction. And that's all I can ask for, because Roxy could have clobbered that little thing easily if she wanted to. How is that, Alana, to see her follow another dog and be OK? It's just crazy seeing Roxy be like that. It's a miracle. Walking Roxy is so much easier now. She doesn't pull. She actually lets me walk her. Good girl. Roxy's behavior has been making things a lot easier for Jennifer and also for everyone else who crosses her path. What a change. She is now socializing with other animals. <gasps> Look at you, pretty girl. Look how calm Roxy is, and Jennifer is so relaxed. What a difference. <laughs>